Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop, where everything's made up and the instructions don't matter. Yes, sir. Hey, you guys may have seen my short a while back about the right hand rule. Well, a lot of you pointed out that you've heard of a different right hand rule, and that is real. Right hand rules refer to flux in the direction of a current would go through a wire. But whenever we're speaking in industrial terms, we're talking about disconnects, like this giant industrial disconnect behind me on the wall. And this right hand rule is a little more pertinent whenever you're dealing with this kind of stuff. So let's take a look at it and explain that a little more in depth. So first things first, right off the bat here, we have an industrial three phase 480 volt disconnect. This particular one is rated for 30 amps and this one runs my lathe right here. Whenever we talk about the right hand rule, a lot of people have learned that the right hand rule describes a conductor. And whenever you wrap your hand around that conductor, your fingers go in the direction of the flux traveling around that wire and your thumb would point in the direction that the current goes through that conductor. This is a good thing to know, but this right hand rule I feel is way more important because this can really keep you out of the line of fire and danger whenever you're working with one of these things. Now, if we look at the front of this disconnect here, the lever that throws this thing on and off is generally on the right hand side. That's where this thing comes from. And if you notice where I'm standing off to the right hand side with my back to the disconnect, if you guys know anything about electricity and how violent it can be when it unexpectedly shorts out, you don't want to be in front of this thing, especially the money maker right in front of it whenever it turns on and if something goes bad. So you want to have your back to the disconnect your right hand on the throw and look away from the disconnect when you turn it on and do it quickly. Don't lollygag turn this thing on. You wanna throw it and have your body away from this thing when it turns on. So if something happens, you're as far away from it as you can be. Now let's take a look inside of this thing so you can better understand what's going on and how this works behind the door. Now to open one of these disconnects, you see these two latches right here that have holes in them. This is for additional lockout tagout. So if you wanted to and or needed to, you could lock the lever in the off position and also throw a padlock in one of these two locking tabs here to keep someone from opening the door if and when you want to. Now to open this thing, you need to release these two spring-loaded latches and that's what opens this cabinet to allow you to access it. Now, once you're inside, you can really take a look at the guts of this thing and what's going on. The top would be the line side and the bottom would be the load side. This is the same as a regular electrical outlet. This is just a really big industrial version and it happens to be three phase 480. So I have my one, two, three line coming in the top and it goes through what we call knife switches. There's a set of female and a set of male receptacles inside of here that this lever controls when it turns on and off. So this lever is attached to three blades inside of here. And whenever it's turned on, they connect with the female sides that are attached to the line side of this disconnect. And that puts this whole thing together. And if you guys are familiar with something called arc flash, that's whenever a load is attached to a circuit and it's immediately sent to ground or something bad happens that this system shorts out you can literally put lightning out of this box and you do not want to be standing in front of it if and when that happens. So in essence, the moral of the story here is that there's multiple ways to describe different things. Just like this right hand rule, there are more than one. I totally agree with you, but I prefer this one because this keeps me from getting dead on a daily basis. The right hand rule as far as conductors go is super important to know, but that really dives deeper into the engineering and how electricity works. But this one can keep you going home in one piece. So if you guys are interested in more of this day to day, like how to do industrial stuff, drop a comment and let me know. I'm more than happy to talk about it. Until next time.